Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to show that f is continuous on the interval from negative infinity to infinity. So f of x is a piecewise function, and it is equal to 1 minus x squared if x is less than or equal to 1, and the natural log of x if x is greater than 1. So these two functions, these pieces of this function, are uh, a polynomial and a logarithmic function, respectively. And we can say, from theorem 7, we know that these two types of functions are continuous over their domains. So the function 1 minus x squared, the function is equal to this if x is less than or equal to 1. So we can say from negative infinity all the way up to 1 that the function is continuous. The same thing with ln of x, for x is greater than 1, that's from 1 to infinity. But notice here that even though f of x is equal to 1 minus x squared, if x is less than or equal to 1, that does not necessarily mean it's continuous at 1, even though it's equal to 1 at that point. What that means is that it's continuous from the left. From values that are less than 1, it's going to approach the value of 1 minus x squared at 1. But we don't know whether that's happening from the right. So we already know, just right now, that f is continuous at all values, all real values except for 1. And we have to show that it's equal at 1. So f of 1 is 1 minus 1 squared, right? We use this function because that's when it's equal to 1, which is 0. And we have to show that the limit as x approaches 1 of the function is equal to 0. So first, let's do from the right. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. This is the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of, from the right is values greater than 1. Therefore, we use ln of x. And we can just plug in 1 directly. And the natural log of 1 is 0. And the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x, we're using for values smaller than 1. We use 1 minus x squared. So this is as x approaches 1 from the left of 1 minus x squared is 1 minus 1 squared is 0. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equals 0 is equal to f of 1. And therefore, f is continuous at x equals 1. And we already showed it's continuous when x is less than 1 and x is greater than 1. Therefore, it is continuous from negative infinity to infinity. And notice the uh, simplified way you could think about solving this problem is to simply say, does this function equal this function at 1? But this is the uh, formal way of finding that f is continuous over all real numbers.